In the 21st century, plastics are an essential part of daily life and can be found everywhere you look, from gym equipment and electronics to plumbing and water bottles, even the clothes we wear. What you may not realise is the extent to which plastics are already used in medical applications, including catheters, replacement heart valves, artificial lenses for cataract operations and sutures for stitches. Plastics are long chain-like molecules known as polymers, made up of many identical repeating units. Changing the repeat unit and the length of the molecule produces a wide range of materials with many useful properties. Plastics are suitable for making medical implants. It is a material that's helping to save lives and improve the quality of life for people. For example, polyethylene, one of the most commonly used plastics, is used to make milk bottles, plastic bags, and even this bottle. The same polyethylene with longer molecular chains are used to make bearing surfaces for knee implants that can last for more than 20 years. Here at the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Nottingham, we are working on new degradable polymers which are the next generation of medical implants. Currently, fractured bones which require surgical intervention are supported by metal pins and screws. Metals, however, are far stiffer than bone and this can affect the healing process. Polymers are a much closer match to the mechanical properties of bones and our implants, once the bone is healed, will degrade naturally within the body. To study this process, we immerse our polymers in different liquids that simulate the human body environment and assess how they degrade and the impact this has on their mechanical properties. An important issue with any implant or medical device is the risk of developing a bacterial infection. Bacteria are able to stick to the surface of implanted devices and when they do, they become very difficult to treat. Another important area of research at the University of Nottingham is the development of antibacterial coatings. The materials used to make medical devices have excellent mechanical properties, so they flex or provide support really well. However, these same materials are often very poor at preventing bacterial attachment. We are developing new polymer coatings that can be applied to current medical devices to prevent bacterial attachment, leading to a reduction in device-associated infections. We have screened thousands of polymers to find the very best ones, which we are coating onto implants and catheters to produce medical devices that are resistant to bacterial attachment. And it doesn't stop there. Polymers can also be used to make sure that medicines go to specific areas of the body in the right doses and have their effect at the required moment. Many current chemotherapy treatments can't discriminate between healthy and cancerous cells, and so they act on both which is why patients on chemotherapy often become very sick. Here in the School of Pharmacy, we are trying to overcome the harmful side effects of these treatments by using polymer carriers to entrap the drugs. We can design these polymer carriers to target specifically towards cancer cells and to degrade and release the drugs only once inside. At Nottingham, our focus is to make different types of polymers, load them with drugs, and then test the composition, break down profiles and drug release from these carriers in biological environments in order to select promising clinical candidates. Plastics are versatile materials, ideal for many medical applications and are a current and exciting area of research. The University of Nottingham is bringing together doctors, scientists and engineers to develop new plastics, devices and medical treatments. Armed with these technological advances, we can help you keep fit and healthy. If you want to find out more, please visit us at the Plastics Insider Stand at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition 2016.